Learn how to integrate Microsoft Fabric Data Factory with Azure Databricks to improve your workflows for data engineer. This tutorial will cover configuring Databricks tasks for data pipeline workflows from creating connections to execute notebook scripts. Hi everyone and welcome to DevScope channel. There is a recent addition of a Databricks activity to a Microsoft Fabric Data Factory. It allows you to create a data pipeline workflow that incorporates uh, execution of notebook scripts from your Azure Databricks clusters. This means that you can now integrate your data processing and analysis tasks executed in Databricks into your data pipeline workflows managed by Microsoft Fabric. I will show you now how you can do it. So here I am in my Fabric workspace. Uh, for this simple task, I will just create a new data pipeline in my data factory experience. I will give it a name, data pipeline run Databricks script. I will create, this will create for us a new data pipeline. And now you will see a lot of activities that you have available in your data factory pipelines, but now you will have a new icon. If you select activities, you have a new Databricks icon, which means that is uh, uh, an Azure Databricks activity that will allow you to select a cluster and run a notebook that you have in your Databricks cluster directly in your Fabric environment. So we will select our Azure Databricks activity. We'll keep the name the way it is. So you have two options to configure this uh, activity. The first one in the cluster, we will have uh, uh, to establish a connection to our, our workspace. And these have two steps that you may need to, to make this connection successful. So we will hit new. And now we have a few requirements that is your workspace URL and you will need a personal access token that you will need to generate inside your Databricks cluster. I will show you how you can do it. So for the URL from your workspace, you just go to your Azure portal in your uh, Databricks service uh, and right here you have your URL. You just copy it through and paste it here. So is, this is just assuming because I have already a connection made, but I will show you how you can create a new one. So now you will have to use a personal access token for the authentication. So you will need to launch your workspace and right here you select your username and just go right here in user settings. Then you select developer, access tokens, manage, and now I have already a few access tokens, but I cannot see the, the, the token itself because once you create a new access token, you cannot uh, uh, see it again. So you create it, you use it, and uh, you don't have access to it anymore unless you saved it in uh, uh, some, uh, some place, some uh, text, some repository. So for this example, we will generate a new token. So you can leave a comment here. Uh, so for so what's the purpose of this token? We can select fabric data pipeline and we can give it a lifetime. So I will leave it as a default and generate. So as, as you see, this is giving me a, a new token. Uh, I will copy this token, get done, and just paste it on your connection settings. So we have everything we need and we will hit create new connection. And now we can access our Databricks workspace. So now you have a few options here. So how do you uh, want uh, to run um, with your cluster? How do you want to run your script? So you have a few options to, for uh, cluster selecting. You can create a new uh, job cluster. You have a few uh, um, descriptions, configurations that you may need or you can run with an existing cluster that you already have in your uh, workspace. So I've already had a, a cluster 
if I drop down here for existing cluster ID, I have a demo cluster that I've already created. So I'm going to use it. So here in Fabric, you basically are using the resources from your uh, Azure Databricks. And basically, you are running the, all the activities that you want here in your Fabric data pipelines. So I'm selecting uh, my demo cluster for this run. And in the settings, this is where I'm going to select what I want to run. And I have three options here. I can run a notebook, I can run a jar, I can run a Python script. It's up to you, okay? Uh, so you, you, you can basically select your notebook uh, from your Databricks workspace. You can set parameters, okay, if you need. So this is basically the, the approach of data pipelines. You have the possibility to define parameters to, 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 to use uh, along your pipeline, your, along your workflow. And you can also append libraries that can be useful for your uh, JAR and Python runs. Basically, you can select a library that you want and you can configure uh, that library for you. So now I'm going to delete this. I'm, I don't need this because I want to run a notebook that I've already created. So if I come here to my uh, workspace, I have a um, script that is called set sales environment. And basically what this script is going to, to do for me is I'm going to use a, a already available uh, database that is called DB sales. It has nothing, no objects in there. And I'm going to create two new tables uh, with a few data. Uh, one is a manual created table. Another one is going to, um, to, to read data from a, a, a blob storage. But basically, I want to set up my sales environment through the data pipelines running this script. So basically, what I need to do is in my notebook path, I'm going to click Browse. It is going to use that connection that we have already created. And here we will see our root folder. I'm going to select users. That's where my notebook is. I'm going to select my user. And then uh, we in this folder fabric, I have my set sales environment notebook. Selecting this, I've already selected my notebook. I'm don't, I don't need for this example to set up parameters or use any libraries. I just uh, need now to save it and validate. Um, so this is alerting me that I have parameters without values, probably because I've created by mistake. I'm going to delete it. Now if I run validate again, is everything is set to run. So basically I'm going to run this, pipe, this uh, activity. Uh, if this activity run the notebook successfully, how I may have two new objects under the DB sales. So just going to run, save, and let's see what happens. So the pipeline runs successfully. Now I will check my Databricks workspace and let's refresh our catalog. And now we have two new tables, a table called product and a table called sales per city. So that's it. This, this is how you can integrate your notebooks that you already have in your Databricks workspace in your new Fabric workspace that you may need to create and you may need to use. Azure Databricks activity was not uh, activity that was first available when Fabric was launched. It was in a preview no long time ago and now it's uh, uh, general availability for you so you can use it in your own data pipeline workflows. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check this channel for another amazing videos on Fabric, uh, Power BI, and don't forget to give this a like, comment below if you have some tip to add, and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.